New tonight at 11, state police are looking for a wrong way driver who hit a police cruiser early this morning. The whole incident was caught on their dash cam video. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eliza Krasinski has a breakdown of the incident and that intense video. Yeah, Brian, it was a really scary situation. It happened just before 3 this morning. Multiple people called 911 saying someone was driving in the wrong direction on I-91. It's a very dangerous situation for everyone involved. A state trooper was driving northbound on I-91 in the HOV lane when a driver who was caught on the dash cam footage was seen driving southbound in the wrong direction towards the officer. The trooper attempted to uh, position himself in a way not directly in front of the wrong way driver, but close enough to where the wrong way driver could see that he was going the wrong way and the trooper was trying to stop him. The wrong way driver hit the cruiser, causing damage to both cars, and then kept driving. What we're trained to do is go towards the wrong way driver and use our lights, use our sirens, use whatever we can to safely stop that driver, to try to slow them down. Many times there are major injuries or death with these wrong way accidents. Most wrong way drivers are on the roads typically between 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. It's something that has to stop in our state. Use caution. Don't drink and drive. If you see a wrong way driver, that's a 911 call. Call police immediately. Just let them know so they can maybe intercept that person before a tragedy occurs. And when you're driving at night, he suggests you drive in the far right lane. We always insisted that people driving at night should avoid the far left lane on any interstate highway because a disoriented driver or even an intoxicated driver going the wrong way will be coming in that left lane. Stay out of it. Stay out of it. Stay as far to the right as you can. Officials are asking for your help in finding that car that was involved in this incident. It's a four-door dark-colored sedan, and it has damage to the driver's side. If you have any information on its whereabouts, you're urged to call Troop H in Hartford. Reporting in Waterbury tonight, Eliza Krasinski, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right.